What's up guys and welcome to the collecting email section of the Shopify mastery course. Today we're going to be going through exactly how to collect emails to build your email marketing list. So without further ado guys, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is come over to the Shopify dashboard. Now in today's video, we're going to be going through a couple of different methods in order to collect emails to build your email marketing list. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to hop over to is go over to the app section and today we're going to be going through uh, Privy. So Privy is the email pop-ups app that I had you guys install way back in the Shopify building your store section of the course in that module. And today we're going to be diving more into Privy and what exactly it does. So all you have to do is click on this here and it will open the Privy dashboard. Now on the Privy dashboard, we're going to be heading over to campaigns. So this should pop up by default is the newsletter signup. So effectively what this is, is a pop-up when people come to your website, they see it and then they can put their email address into it. So we're going to be going through what you want to do for that and taking a look at an example as well. So when you are use, utilizing these pop-ups, uh, obviously you want to have them active. I just have it inactive right now. Um, but you want to be making sure that you're customizing these pop-ups because the default just says sign up for up for it, right? So in order to design it and edit it, you're going to come over to design and then we're gonna click on edit so we can edit the pop-up design here. So you're gonna to wanna to go in and edit this. Now I'm not gonna be doing that right now because it could take like a long time. It could like take like 30 minutes or, or maybe an hour or so to edit it. But what you're gonna to wanna to come in and actually edit this to match your colors of your branding and everything you're utilizing for your store. So you can have it as sign up for updates, but another good thing that I've seen a lot of people do is they offer a discount code, which you can do when people sign up. You can then offer them a discount code that pops up after they hit the submit button. So uh, I'll show you how to do that in a second here, but you can have them enter their email for like a $5 off coupon or even just like a 10% off coupon as well. That's that's something that has worked for me in the past. I see it work for a lot of other stores. It's an easy way to get your get the customer's email. So you could be like, enter the email uh, for 10% off your first order or $5 off your first order. Those are a couple of common offers that people do on their email pop-up because this is a way that you're going to collect a lot of people that may come to the store, but they aren't necessarily ready to purchase yet or they may want to purchase, but they need that extra bit of incentivizing, right? So then they come up and they're like, oh, you know, as soon as they're about to close the tab, because you can have it as where, you know, as soon as they're about to close the tab, the email pop up will come up or it pops up after a certain amount of time that they're on your website. And then they see that and they're like, oh, let me, you know, it helps them make the decision. And they're giving you their contact info. So, like, if they don't purchase, they're still giving you their email in which you can then uh, send emails to them and potentially get a sale in the future. So, that's what you're going to want to do is actually edit this and customize it. Now, to actually add the discount code section, I'm going to go ahead and click cancel there. But you can do is come over here. Obviously, you have your timer, so you can set up that. You can also set up the exit intent. So anytime they go to exit the tab. And I would recommend that you leave it as trigger at most every once a day. And you can even set the timer to 10 seconds. I know that the 10 second timer worked well on a couple of my websites. Uh, that's something I would recommend to do is set it up to 10 seconds. You can also have the uh, thank you page as well. And then in terms of the behavior, this is where you can set up the coupon code. So all you have to do is then click on the coupon code section. You click edit and then you click on visit the coupons tab to create some because there isn't any created yet. You just come here and this is where you can actually create your custom coupon. So you can title it however you want and you have to set it up on your Shopify store so that it syncs properly. Uh, which I'll show you in a second, but you can just have it set up as a master coupon so that people see it and it's, you know, they get the $5 off their first order or however you want to do it. I think you can actually set up the coupon in here now. They used to have it where you had to go on to Shopify and make it, but I think you, know, you can just make it up right here and it'll automatically add that to your Shopify store. So it's pretty easy to do. You can start it now and have it last forever and then it will just pop up after they enter their email as the coupon code will come up with the sign up with the coupon code in the thank you page or the autoresponder as well in the email that gets sent to them as like a thank you for signing up for the email list or thank you for signing up for your 10% code. Here it is. Uh, that's a couple of different things that will it will be sent through. It'll send up uh, through the thank you page or the autoresponder so that, that they actually get their coupon, right? So that is a way that you can get people to incentivize to actually enter their email instead of just like a newsletter. I would recommend doing the coupon code, it's going to get a lot more people actually willing to put in their 
information. So as an example in today's video, to actually go through and show you what one looks like for a certain store is actually utilizing the Logan Paul store. So whether you're a fan of Logan Paul or not, he makes a lot of money on a Shopify store. And so he sells merch, right? This is his email pop-up that comes up. Now, the, this I'm pretty sure is through Privy. If it's not through Privy, uh, it probably is through some other email uh, pop-up provider. There's a lot of different ones. As you can see, it's very customized. You know, it's a picture of him with him wearing his own merch. And then it says, enter your email to receive $5 off your first order. So this is a common offer I see on a lot of different stores. And then you have your email and you hit sign up. Now, this same exact pop-up you could create with Privy. Uh, as well, it's very easy to set up on here. You can just, you know, edit it, edit the design on the pop-up design. You can edit the form. You can change the sizing. You can pretty much make it look exactly like this if you really wanted to. You can you can change, you can add an image in here. It's very easy to edit. It's pretty straightforward. You just click in and edit the things on here. So that's all you have to do for your pop-up design. And you can even make it look like this. That's what I would recommend is, you know, just operating off what works for other people. That's a good way to to uh, learn things. So, you know, if you want to utilize this exact same design, go ahead and copy it. You know, it obviously works for him. It works for a lot of people. And that's what I would recommend you do to actually collect your emails. Now, aside from collecting emails through Privy and through email pop-ups and discount codes and stuff like that that you can set up on Privy, another way that you're going to be collecting emails is through your customers. So once you actually get some customers in here on your Shopify store, that's another way that you can get emails and people that leave abandoned carts, that's another way the emails are going to come into your store. So the, the main way you're going to be really marketing and getting those emails is through the coupon codes, obviously, and through the pop-up. That's where you're going to get the majority of your emails. And then they'll just pop up in the Privy dashboard under your email section in here or un under your actual email list. It, it'll come up here at the bottom. It'll show you like, oh, you know, it's you have X amount of people signing up and this is the results from the store. So you have your signups here. It'll come up and you'll be able to click and view all the different emails from people that actually sign up with your email pop-up. And then you can just import those into your email provider, which we're gonna get into more on this email software to utilize for your Shopify store in the next section. But that's pretty much the different ways you're gonna be collecting emails. You're gonna be importing them from Privy, from marketing and collecting them here from your discount codes and you're also going to be getting them from your customers that you already have had. And so you can get them from uh, all of those different ways, abandoned checkouts, lots of different ways you can get your emails from your customers. So in the next section, we're going to be going over how to organize all those different kinds of emails that you're getting, where to put them, and what software to use. So without further ado, guys, I'll see you in the next section.